this is the rig that has been doing me the, uh, the majority of the bites this session. And if you want to see the actual session um, where I'm using this rig, if you click on the link in the description below, you'll be able to watch the full video of me fishing and using this rig and exactly how to get the best out of it. I'm just going to tie one up now. The first component is obviously you just want your hook length. In this case, I've got 20 pound uh, camo semi-stiff. Take off about a foot or so. Nip that off. And then just straighten them out a little bit. And then you want a strip, I'd say probably four and a half, five inches. And then get yourself your hook. In this case, I'm using a uh, size six medium curved barbless. It's a really nice sort of pattern of hook for this. Um, and it's sat over with the cord, it's really nice and you know, just sits perfect, almost like the same shape as, you know, like I say, a 360 or like how a Ronnie rig would sit or something like that, but it's just poised over, just ready to be, ready to be in there by a nice big fat carp. Get your uncoated end, the bit that you stripped, feed that through the eye of the hook towards the back of the hook. And then this bit now, I've worked it out, so depending on how fat your fingers are, I lie it across my three fingers and you want to be, you want about three, three fingers worth of unstripped, uh, uncoated braid. So like my fingers are where the end of the coating is now. And that will give you enough to do the, uh, to do the whipping. So you're just going to whip round there a few times and then you'll feel the you feel the end of the coating come to your fingertips and you want to roughly have about a centimeter whip it round the round the shank of the hook until you've got about a centimeter of uncoated braid left so now where my thumbnail is that's the end you can see it just catching on there that's the end of the coating. And that's just going to allow me enough just to put a bit of shrink tube over the eye of the hook and over that whipping on the back of the hook there. And just enough room to get me a little shot on there. Because you want the end of the coating, it's only just going to sit up off the bottom. And then pull it tight, trim the tag off. So now it's just coated up the shank. You want yourself A little bit of shrink tube in. This is the just the small because yeah, it hasn't got to go. It hasn't got to go over any swivels or any bits and pieces. So you want to chop about, I'd say about 12, 12 millimeters of shrink tube. On that goes. Push him over until you'll see the end of the coating. You'll see now I can catch that coating on my fingernail. And that's just going to allow, it covers the whipping on the, on the shank, obviously over the eye, and then it just catches my fingernail right there. So that's just going to allow me just enough room just to squeeze the split shot on. And then that'll just sit up off the bottom, lovely like that. So get me anti-tangle sleeve. Feed him on there, this is a, camo anti-tangle sleeve and then you can see just short of the width for me box by the time you tie the loop in the end that goes on the quick change swivel on the leg clip just a little figure of eight loop there get the tag end off on him at the end of the loop into the anti-tangle sleeve. That's all ready. So that's the main bulk of the rig done. All that I need to do now is attach my hook bait and sort of we're away to go then. But what I'm gonna do just before I do that, I'm just gonna uh, steam this down, steam the hook length, steam the anti-tangle, uh, the shrink tube in. 
So it'll be hard to see when I when I steam it, but I almost steam the shrink tube at a right angle to the point. So if you see how the point's sitting up there, I steam it at a right angle at 90 degree angle, because then when it's sat up, it's sat over nice in like a clawed position. So we're gonna steam that now. I've steamed that now and you can see how it sits much better. It's got a nice, you know, the shrink tube just gives it a nice little kick over. Um, yeah, it's just perfect really. And I'm just gonna attach my hook bait, which is dead simple. Just a little rig ring. Yeah, it's not a hook ring swivel. It's just a rig ring on this one. I'm gonna get a little hook bead. Just slide this on the point of the hook. So you can see that goes on there. So, you know, it's got a really nice blowback action. Um, the hair is not restricting the hook bait in any way. So if a fish picks it up, it can pick it up, the bait will move out the way and the hook is straight into, into position. So that's that. Close this little box up before I kick it everywhere. And then just a little bit of, little bit of flossing material. I must add at this moment in time, this is a 50 pound shock leader material because I ran out of bait floss last night. So normally it would be bait floss. Today, it's shock leader material. But feed that through your ring, double it back on itself so you can get your hook bait on. Your hook bait, a um, piece of corn and a little bit of foam underneath. Pull him on there. And he's on there now and then just make sure that that sits nice like that. Little granny knot. Pull that down, you'll see it just the knot just disappear into the corner a little bit. So another granny knot over the top. That'll lock down on the other knot so it won't actually I'm away. I will finish that rig in a minute. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Go on, boy. Right. Well, we were just putting the hook bait on the rig and um, we got a bite. So we were, I wouldn't say rudely interrupted because it was a uh, mid-30 common, which is quite nice. What I'm going to do is finish off showing you how to just attach this hook bait quickly and get it presenting right. Um, yeah, and then I've got this rig ready to go out in the pond then. But if you, you know, if you do want to see the full in session piece, like I said, if you click on the link in the description, then you can head over and you can watch the full in session piece where I'm using this rig, uh, catching big carp. So, yeah. But, so we got the hook bait on. We flossed, flossed the bait on, a couple of granny knots, pulled them down. And then all I'm going to do is trim that off. Give that a little melt well down, give me a little tilt on there so your hook bait can't come off. Now the only thing left to do now is just to put a little shot on. They always use these little these little shots just because they never slide and they're really good for butting um, my power grip putty up against the back of it. So just, they're quite a fiddly Quite a fiddly little sh shot to put on, but once they're on there, they don't slip anywhere. And I just get a tiny little bit of power grip putty, and that just goes up against the back of the shot. Give me if you spin it in your fingers, just roll it on your fingers you get a really nice cone effect and you can see on the shot you can see how close that is to the tubing 
and then when that goes down that's just going to sit right on the eye of the hook sat perfectly presenting over the top you know and because it's quite balanced it doesn't matter if there's like the odd little strand of weed or if it's dead clear it will just sit itself down really nicely and your hook's always going to be facing the right way yeah so ideal i mean obviously you know i've had six fish now um so it's proven that it's a uh, nice effective rig yeah lovely Just recording that way. <laughs>